I've got the new Marc Jacobs Style Icon number 20 palette to share with you guys today. And this is, I'm pretty sure, their holiday palette, which holiday in August. <laughs> I remember thinking, geez, it's early last year when things were coming out in September, but things are dropping in August for the holidays. So this one is called About Last Night. This here is the box. There's a diagram. And these shadows don't have names. They're just numbered 1 through 20. There are 20 eyeshadows in the palette. And each eyeshadow is 0 0.03 ounces of product, which is a little bit on the smaller end of the spectrum. But it is still slightly more product than what you get in the Style Icon number 7 palettes from Marc Jacobs, which is like around 0.028 ounces. <laughs> Inside the box it does come with a how-to kind of a guide in here with uh, several different looks on there if you're into using like guides to put on your eyeshadow. And then the palette this year is gold instead of black which I think is a nice touch. It's got the same like style of packaging as last year's holiday palette but the packaging is just gold. And then it does come with a relatively large mirror in there. It's a big mirror. I got it covered up with the little plastic inlay that sits over the eyeshadows. And then here are your 20 eyeshadows. There are 10 matte shades and 10 shimmer shades. Two of the shades that I consider matte are those those type of shadows that have a matte base but have some really fine um, kind of loose micro glitters in there. For me they just go on the eyes as a matte. There are some shades in here with some sparkle to them that do adhere, however, and I'm not considering those the mattes. So I would say, for me at least, I'd consider there a total of 10 mattes in here, and I'll get up close and give you guys swatches and all that and compare it to last year's eyeshadow palette as well. But for today, I use the majority of the purples. I packed this guy on the lid, blended with this uh, gray color, which is matte, use this purple in the crease, a little bit of this guy on the inner corner, and then this underneath the brow bone. And yesterday, I used some of the uh, more taupey, warmer brown shades in here, and the matte eyeshadows do kick up quite a bit of product when you put your brush in there. And then also, when I used them both yesterday and today, um, the matte shades, I did get fallout with those shades on my face. It, was, it wasn't a massive amount, but it wasn't a tiny bit. It was just kind of like, oh, hey, there's fallout. I did this shade here, I feel like I got more, quite a bit more fallout than I did with this purple shade. So that's a little bit of a downfall on the matte eyeshadows. However, they do build and they blend really well for me. I don't have problems um, getting the color on my eyes and I don't have really problems blending them out. They blend together really nicely. I used mattes from the crease upwards both days and they meshed really nice. Um, the shimmer shades in here are great. They're really, really beautiful colors. They're saturated. They they go on really well. They're pigmented. I did do a demo with what's on my eyes today towards the end of the video if you're interested in that, but I'm going to go ahead and zoom up close and give you guys some swatches and hopefully you'll, you'll be better able to see the texture and pigmentation of the products. So here's the palette up close in all its glory. It's got the shades on here, but they, it doesn't have the numbers like the diagram from the little insert that came in there, which looks like that. The shades that I would consider matte are these top four. You've got this kind of a, a light peachy pink color over here. The base of that shade is matte, but it's got silver um, sparkles in it. And then you've got this slate gray as a matte. These three dark shades down here are mattes, and then this guy over here is a matte. So I'll go ahead and swatch these in twos. So this is a matte, number one, and this one's a shimmer, number two. Shade 3, which is a shimmer, and shade 4, which is a matte. Shades 1 through 4. Shade 5, which is a matte, and shade 6, which is a shimmer. Shade 7, which is a shimmer, and shade 8, which is a matte. This brown kind of, uh, there's a little bit of a matte aspect, but there's a lot of little shinies in there, so it's not quite the same uh, finish as, those, as these shimmer ones, but there's still a lot of sparkle in it to consider a matte shadow. Oh, those glitters aren't picking up in that brown too. Well, but there are shades 5 through 8. Then there's shade 9, which is a matte. 
shade 10, which is a shimmer. This has got like a blue duochrome to it, that white shade. 9 and 10. And shade 11, which is a shimmer. And shade 12, which is a matte black. So there are shades 9 through 12. Shade 13, which is a matte. And 14 is a shimmer. Let me grab a little more of this guy. I've got this light shade right here underneath my brow today. And shade 15, which is a matte. I blended out the crease with this guy. And then this one here is a matte. It's a black with, again, it's kind of like this brown one with those little, a ton of little sparkles in there. But the texture feels more like the, the matte eyeshadows, but there's those little sparkles in there. <laughs> so there's shades 13 through 16. Shade 17 is a shimmer. And then 18 is that one that's it's like a matte pink, but it's got a, a few of them little silver micro glitters in there, but it really goes on matte. So, oh, getting kind of wild here. <laughs> so there's 17 and 18. And then 19, which I've got on my lid, and 20, which is a matte. So 19 is a shimmer, and 20 is a matte. Here is a side-by-side -side of last year's holiday palette, which is over here, and then the new one, which is over here. So you can kind of see there are some similar colors between the two, but there are some different ones as well. But hopefully you can see whether or not, if you have last year's, whether or not this year's is one that you may want to purchase. So Marc Jacobs' holiday palette last year was one of my favorites from the holiday lineup. I really enjoyed that palette. I have quite a few of his um, seven pans as well, and I also enjoy those. Um, this palette is expensive. <laughs> it's $99. I purchased it off of the Sephora website. And I've seen it also on the Marc Jacobs website. Um, in terms of shadows, these are slightly bigger than the Style Icon Number no. 7 palettes. Um, and those are $59 a piece for 7 eyeshadows. So you're getting a slightly larger eyeshadow in here and you're getting 20 of them as opposed to 7. So in terms of Marc Jacobs pricing, you are getting a deal with this palette. I also feel there's a good array of matte shades and also shimmer shades in the spectrum of both light all the way to dark. Um, I kind of feel like... You know, these three in the middle could have done without maybe one of those guys because they're all, they're, this one here is kind of a charcoal black color and then there's black and then there's a black with a shimmer in it. But I feel like if we could have used a little bit different one <laughs> instead of all three of those. Now if you're interested in seeing the shadows perform and the look that's on my eyes, you can hang tight and we'll get into it right now. I prime my lids from the Lash Line 2 up underneath the brow with the NYX eyeshadow base. Then using a Hakuhoto S133, I'm going to go into the shade number 19. It's like a shimmery purple color. And I'm going to start putting this on the center of the lid. Oh, I'm going to put it in the center and bring it all the way out. Then using the side of that same brush, I'm going to go into the shade number 17. And I'm going to put that right in front of the purple. I'm going to turn my brush on its uh, side and blend them. Then using a Chikahoto GSN 9, I'm going to go into the shade number 4, which is one of the mattes in the palette. I'm going to, I'm going to put this guy in the corner. The crease. We're going to do the corner B crease area. <laughs> Cruiser is snoring in the background. <laughs> I've got some fallout that I'm going to wipe off right away. 
Then using a Hakuhodo J 5523 brush, I'm going to go into the shade number 15, which is like a slight gray. It's also one of the matte shades. And I'm going to start kind of buffing out the edge of that purple. Then I'm going to go into the shade number 13, which I'm hoping isn't going to be too dark, on a, this is a holiday brush from a Chikohoto set. I'm going to go underneath the brow. Yeah. Okay, this will work. It's kind of a, it's a matte shade, but it's got some like, it's lilac, a light lilac undertone to it, a pink undertone. Oh, that worked out great. I wasn't sure if it was going to come off too dark or not. So there's the eyeshadow done. I'm going to go ahead and finish up my eye makeup and I'll be right back to put on some lips for you guys. For lips, I'm going to use MAC's Pro Longwear Lip Pencil in the shade Good Timing and I'm just going to line them and kind of fade it inwards a little bit. And to fill them in, I'm going to use Snob from MAC. There's the overall finished look using Marc Jacobs All About Last Night Holiday Palette for 2016. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to wear sunscreen, and I'll see you guys later. Bye!